give us the details. I think um, it was plus five in the first quarter, suddenly down to minus three. Eight point swing, quite significant. Eight point swing is very large. Um, it is now um, uh, as much as 18 points uh, over two years. Um, and more significantly during the quarter, each and every dimension that we ask about, population, income, age, gender, um, geographical, everywhere um, there have been drops in, in confidence uh, on, the, on the three questions that we ask. So it is very substantial, very wide ranging. Okay, the three questions that you ask are, let's have a look here. Um, so, excuse me for reading from a sheet. It says, namely, expected performance of the economy, number one, the expected financial position of households, and also the rating of the appropriateness at the, of the present time to buy durable goods such as furniture, appliances, and electronic equipment. First of all, which of those were the worst or the best performers? Where do you want to start? Um, well, the, the way um, the consumers look at the economy has deteriorated very significantly, this negative territory. Um, and of course, this parallels what we see in other surveys, the Cajiso PMI, the RMBB, our business confidence, uh, the BE, our manufacturing, retailing, and build, building confidence surveys in recent months have all been very negative. Uh, it confirms a weak economy, and the household sector is coming through strong on this now as well, in, in su substantially further lowering its confidence level. Okay, what about the geographical spread, the demographic spread of uh, this lack of confidence? Is it old white blokes like you and I that are, are pessimistic? Is, is it young uh, black people who don't have a job in Limpopo? Can you give us an idea? No, it is everybody. In other words, I find it quite remarkable, I haven't seen it in all the years that I've been doing this, that each and every dimension has shown a substantial downgrading from the previous level that it was at. Um, that between these various groups there remain uh, significant differences in levels of confidence, of course, is to be expected, but their adjustment in this particular quarter uh, was nearly uniform, was universal. Uh, there wasn't a single dimension in which we can report an, an increase in confidence. Um, so the perceptions have deteriorated, the expectations have been deteriorating, and, and for obvious reasons, frankly. I mean, there's the international backdrop uh, in terms of the European crisis, but more significantly, I think, at home, real income is being eroded, uh, and this is uh, ultimately undermining the ability to spend and the, the willingness of the consumer to do so is deteriorating as a consequence, and that is what we see. Is the FMBB, our Consumer Confidence Index, a forward-looking indicator? Is it retrospective? What's been your experience? Um, it tends to be a leading indicator, especially at, at turning points in the cycle. And uh, for that reason alone, I consider the last two years now very important because um, although conf confidence levels were falling, they seem to be falling relatively slowly. Uh, it is now specifically in the second quarter of this year that we see a large fall and we, when we take the cumulative adjustment, it is very significant. I'm not going to th uh, throw in the, the CPI because that wasn't the mandate of this particular interview, but when I see CPI coming down from above six just two or three months ago, quite well above six, and people thinking it was going to go higher, now down five and a half percent year on year. This is also an indication of a lack of demand and a lack of confidence in the economy, wouldn't you say? Yes, but also a falling petrol price. Um, the, the, the decline in the inflation rate from a peak of about 6.3 to now 5.5 uh, is very gratifying. Uh, it also suggests that the income of households in real terms should be improving again as we move forward as this inflation rate falls and probably falls further. Uh, so on that score, uh, it is a positive. But uh, yes, domestically, we have to allow for the fact that we, we, are, we have an, a weak domestic uh, performance. And, and that assists the inflation uh, rate also downwards. Okay, so that was one piece of good news, but uh, I've been interviewing you over the years uh, on, on many occasions. I'm just sort of sensing something there, that you're slightly nervous, slightly despondent, uh, not depressed, but slightly despondent about this number that we're reporting on today, notably the Consumer Confidence Index. Are you worried? <laughs> I've used the word capitulation uh, in one of my articles uh, in the heading. Um, so, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the consumer is, it, is belatedly uh, adjusting to trends that we have seen elsewhere in the economy. Or to put it differently, um, all the bad news that we have witnessed in so many sectors in the economy over a number of months, quarters, essentially makes it impossible to generate new income or makes it more difficult to generate new income. Uh, and that is in addition to what we get from overseas in terms of the European crisis and what it does to our exports. 
Um, so the, the consumer's ability to spend in terms of real income is being undermined on, on many scores. And uh, although consumer confidence remained relatively high in historic terms, uh, we now find that cumulatively they're coming down to levels that we last saw at the beginning of the recession in 2008. Um, it is that bad uh, at the consumer level. I, I do not expect mm. a recession, uh, but that the household sector is significantly adjusting their expectations and their reading of the situation, absolutely. Mm. It's very interesting. So you've actually answered my question. I was going to say historically, where does this minus three reading sit over the last few years? But you've, you've told me that since 2008 was the last time that we saw this. And it just makes me wonder why the JSE retailers are doing so. Well, if the consumer confidence and uh, spending ability is at these low levels, why are they going up? But that's for another discussion. Case, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. That's Dr. Case Brookerman's Chief Economist at FMB 